I like the idea of talking to your doctor about these things. Um, but how do, how does how does an ordinary person talk to their doctor about these things in a way that doesn't make their doctor just roll their eyes and say, you know, who, who are you to lecture me? I went to well, medical school. Okay, so yes, but no. I mean, it's true. Okay, some doctors are very uh, provincial, and some doctors are very um, uh, paternal, and I know a lot of them <laughs> and you know a lot of them live in the ivory tower you know where i used to practice as well so i know what you're i know what i i know from whence that question comes and i and i and i you know identify with it to to a great extent having said that no doctor actually wants to do harm okay mm -hmm. you have to basically show them how what they're doing is doing harm the easiest way to do that is to show up at your doctor's office 50 pounds lighter Mm. having not taken their advice. And then when the doctor says, what, well, what'd you do? And then the patient says, well, I actually got the carbohydrate out of my diet. I actually changed what I had in my uh, pantry. And, you know, this is where we are. And then the doctor says, really? That's what happened? So they need to see the results. They, you know, you can't you can't explain this to them. You have to show it to them. Let me give you another example. Okay, uh, I am working right now with a uh, food company. Okay, I take no money from them, but a food company offshore, in the Middle East. This company is the Nestle of the Middle East. Okay, they make all sorts of problem foods. They make flavored milks, frozen yogurt, ice cream, confectionery, tomato sauce, biscuits, okay? Like all ultra processed food to the highest degree, all bad stuff. And their CEO at age 48 weighed 350 pounds and had type two diabetes and back pain. And he went to his UK physicians and they put him on insulin and oral hypoglycemics and he got worse. And he said, this is not working. And so what did he do? He went to Dr. Google and he started researching it for himself. And he found two people online. He found Jason Fung, who is a nephrologist in Toronto, who is a great believer in intermittent fasting and has written several books, the obesity code, the diabetes code, the, the, if it's a code, you know, the cancer code, if it's a code, it's his. Okay. That's his code uh, and me. And so CEO started doing what we said to do. And lo and behold, in nine months, he dropped 100 pounds. His type 2 diabetes resolved. His back pain disappeared, and he thinks we'd hung the moon. Okay, great. And then he has his aha moment, his moment of epiphany, where he said, wait a second. If I did this to myself, eat my own crap, what am I doing to the rest of the Middle East? And so they came to me four years ago this company. And they said, we want to move into the 21st century. We want to be a metabolically healthy company. We want to change the food to contribute to the health of our population, not hurt it. Wow. How cool is that? And we've been doing that. And we actually published a paper last year in March of 2023 in Frontiers in Nutrition called The Metabolic Matrix, Re-Engineering Ultra-Processed Food to Protect the Liver, Feed the Gut, and Support the Brain. And it turns out any food, if it does all three of those things, protects the liver, feeds the gut, supports the brain, is healthy. Any food that does none of the three is poison. And any food that does one or two but not all three, it's going to be somewhere in the middle. And so you can actually set precepts and you can set protocols for being able to actually determine what needs to be done and what needs to be in ultra processed food to actually make them healthy. Now, can people do that at home? 